Hi guys, it's Shal, also known as Shal Fitness UK. Um, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought I'd do a video about the assumptions tag, I think it's called. So there's actually a random windy day outside, what's the right word? Like, yeah, so it's very windy outside, so I apologise if you can hear that, but it's too hot to film in here without the windows open. So that's what we're having to do. Anyways, I put on my Instagram for you guys to ask me some assumptions. Also follow me. And yes, I'm just going to go through a few of them, explain them, say whether they're right or wrong. And yes, let's get into the video. So, first one, you're flexible. Absolutely not. No. Well, mm, I don't think I'm very flexible because my sister is like very flexible but I'd say my flexibility has definitely improved since I've like started working on it more so like I literally stretch like at least once a day if not twice so I think I'm getting more flexible but like I've never been able to do the splits or anything like even when I was a gymnast I couldn't do the splits you know so hopefully I'll keep working on it and I will get back to you. The next one, I assume that you have lots of siblings. Um, well, I have a brother and a sister that are both younger than me and then I have two older half sisters as well. So like I am one of like five but I don't know, is that big? Oh, my brother's nodding and saying that it's big. I guess when you count it to how many, how many kids does the average family have? Is it like 2.8 or something? So I guess that's big. Next question is, you've always been very sporty. I don't know, I guess I have. Like, I, I think I've just, I've done lots of different things. Um, so like I've been a dancer, been an ice skater, I've done gymnastics, I've done swimming. Swimming was a big part of my life for like so long. So I've been on like the school's like netball team and stuff so I mean I guess I have but it's never really like definitely gone more down like the academic route than like sporty route in terms of like my career and stuff but yeah I guess I guess that's correct <laughs> you're very clever <laughs> um I don't know I guess it depends how you'd say somebody very clever is because I'd say I'm not that clever like I don't want to be too big headed or anything but I wouldn't say I'm very clever I'd say I work hard to get the results that I get and I think that's a lot better work ethic than somebody who's naturally clever and doesn't really have to work for it um but I, I wouldn't say I'm smart like yes I've got good grades in the past and stuff and like I try my hardest now but like I say I try my hardest and yeah so I wouldn't say I'm very smart or very clever but I am doing a law degree so <laughs> next is I have a boyfriend I actually don't I did but uh, we broke up like six months ago and I've never been happier you're the oldest child Um, I guess I am and I'm not at the same time because I'm my mum's oldest child, so I'm the oldest in the house. That makes me feel so old. <laughs> yeah, so I'm the oldest in the house, but then I do have my two other half-sisters that don't live with us. Oh, you're really tall. I don't think I'm that tall. I think I'm about five, seven and a bit, which I guess, I mean, is that tall? I don't know. I'd say it's like average height, isn't it? Like five, six is about average height. So... I'm like just above that but yeah I wouldn't say tall tall you don't like sports um I'd say if we talk about sports as in like football like I'm really not keen on football I've only ever been to two football games and they weren't really the best to go to um as in like the atmosphere it was a bit but yeah I'm not really that interested in that however love the Olympics I love I love everything like, yeah, I'll watch pretty much anything um, of the Olympics, like gymnastics, swimming, 
um, netball, like Winter Olympics, absolutely love, love the bobsleigh, love the ice skating, pretty much everything, love the skiing, everything, oh, get me the Olympics every day. Next one is, you don't like the cold, and that is correct. <laughs> I have Raynaud's disease, so I actually really hate the cold and can't really stand the cold at all, to be honest. Um, because it makes like my fingers go white and like my um, hands to my feet get really cold really quickly. It's something that really affects me like all the time. I went for a walk with my friends um, about two months ago, so it's like April time and they were all there, like they all took their jumpers and coats off and they were just chilling, you know, it was a bit warm, they loved it. I was there in a base layer, a t-shirt, a jumper and a waterproof coat and I was like, I'm still cold because somebody like give me their coat like it's really I hate it I definitely like to be a good temperature you're actually really rich um no <laughs> no I don't know why anybody would think that I feel like I, I haven't done anything to show yeah I'm really rich apart from perhaps how much active wear I have because <laughs> who needs that much anyhow <laughs> But, um, no, I wouldn't say I am. No, I'm not rich, um, not being a stretch of the imagination. <laughs> um, no, I'm not rich at all. Um, I'd just say I work hard to save my money and I, work, I do work hard for my money as well. Like, please, try working in a fish and chip shop because it's a lot harder than you think it is. But, yeah, you've never had a real job. I Well, I had a job in a local fish and chip shop for three years so I started it in the February of year 13 so my last year in sixth form worked throughout that whole time and then as I came back from uni um, in the holidays I actually got the job back and they had me back so grateful and then yeah and then I went back at Christmas as well and I really enjoyed it I don't know whether I'll be going back now though um over summer just because um of things going on at the minute and they can't have that many people working at the same time so we'll see the next one is you still live at home because you can't afford to move out no that that's not true i'm sure i'm sure i probably have enough savings to move out and rent somewhere however i'm currently just living at home in holiday time from uni and um, purely because it's a lot better for me um, I get to save the money on any rent than living anywhere else and I also love my family and I, I wouldn't live anywhere else. Okay so the next one is you don't actually like your degree and you want to actually do something in the fitness industry instead. Um, I'd say this probably isn't correct, I love my degree, like I love law and learning about it and the whole legal industry, absolutely love it. The experience that I've had was amazing. However, it's perhaps a really, how can I word it? That it is a very competitive industry and I don't really know what I want to do in that industry, which makes it harder, I guess. So perhaps if I cannot get a job in the legal industry, then perhaps the fitness industry is something that I could look at. But I wouldn't say it's something, I'm not going, no, don't want to go into the legal sector, fitness is for me, you know? Like, I would like to work in the legal sector because it's, it's just so interesting, like, the, I love it. Next one is, you want to move out ASAP? Um, I wouldn't say I do, I am planning on, once I finish my degree, moving home and getting a job here, just purely to save money, like, obviously, I'll um, pay my parents board and whatever, but um, yeah, I'm definitely, hopefully, planning on moving home after I finish my degree. However, if I could move to an apartment in London right now, oh, but I know that it'll probably take a while for that to happen and to have the right amount of money and there's so many other different factors that I couldn't possibly go, yep, yeah, let's do it now, you know? So you don't actually like the uni culture um, because it doesn't fit in with your fitness goals um and i'd say that's not true like i i like a night out as much as anyone 
Um, I actually used to go out like so much compared to what I do now. But no, I'd say you can you can still go out and have a drink and go on a night out and still achieve your fitness goals. Like you can do both of those. You don't have to go never going out fitness goals of life. You know you can. It's all about balance and that's what life's about at the end of the day. And the final one is you feel a lot of pressure to look a certain way being in the fitness industry. Um, I'd say not really. Like I think any female possibly feels a bit more inclined to look a certain way. However, um, I don't think it's necessarily impacted me that way. I think the fitness community for me anyway is so positive, so uplifting. And like no, I've never had a comment that's gone, oh, you look like, you know, you shouldn't be here or anything like that. I've honestly, like, I've never had any negative comments. And that's something that I really, really am so grateful for and so appreciative of that you guys are so supportive. So that brings me to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more assumptions or um, any requests for videos or anything, leave them down in the comments and I'll answer them or try and make the videos as soon as I can. And yes, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video because it really supports me and lets me know what you like. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Yes, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.